Now here at BK Live, we're a socially conscious show. So when you hear us introducing a segment about life behind bars, you probably have some idea what to expect. But it's a Thursday. And Dick and Dave are here. So when we talk about bars, we mean the ones you stumble out of, not get locked behind. It happens. And the man behind this bar is Dan Ruth, a pre-gentrification Williamsburger who turned <laughs> decades of experience slinging drinks into an award-winning one-man stage show, which has been called profane, captivating, and masterful. Mm. And here is Dan Ruth now with a little taste of A Life Behind Bars. Welcome to Lost and Found. Have a seat. This is a place where people come to lose their minds and find inspiration for ideas that will never, ever transpire. <laughs> this was my happy place for the longest time. A place where I used to come to toy with danger, flirt with death. What do you need? I can get you anything you want. Oh, you want to go on a ride? Fantastic. Put on the shades and take a sip. Do you mind if we talk? Some people don't like it when you talk to them. They like to hide, file it way down deep inside. <laughs> but you can't hide when you're loaded, can ya? Mm -mm. Go ahead, take another sip. With just a flick of my wrist and a little caramel colored single batch magic, I'll make your world all right. Where's vodka your thing? Tequila? Perhaps a few magnums of Vin Rouge Ardenaire? <laughs> or maybe, just maybe. Some dark spiced rum with a little healthy organic tropical fruit juice, huh? That'll take you to the beach. Hope you wore your sunblock. So by the time I'm through with you, you'll be toasted. <laughs> Put your credit card away. Your money's no good here, Mr. Torrance. The only thing we care about here tonight is how good your cocktail tastes. <gasps> what do I drink? That is so sweet. I drink everything. I've been drinking since I was 11 years old. Shot in a beer every Christmas, red wine with dinner, my first blackout when I was 13. Oh, I held on. Held on to those six pints of Genesee cream ale, but those two joints of Colombian gold did me in proper. Bam. Probably would have made it through if I had a little bump of Coke. Go ahead, treat yourself to a couple rails and I'll keep you company all night long. Keep you distracted. Introduce you to that stranger you're sitting next to. Go ahead, take a peek, you know you want to. Come on, they might be batshit crazy or they just might be better than a book. You never know until you try. No? <laughs> Suit yourself, it's a free country. At least it was until November. You don't have to talk to the person sitting next to you if you don't want to. You don't have to talk to them. You can always come back to me. There's always me. Hey, I'm your bartender. I'm always here. I will always be here. I don't know if that was a threat or a promise. I uh, know, a little We're bit of love, here. I think. There he that goes. was amazing. Thank Oof. you so much. But let's not forget the aforementioned Dick and Dave. Cue the bumper. <laughs> From the Brooklyn Reader, we welcome Richard Burroughs, a walking, talking, one-man show himself. Welcome. Greetings. And from Gothamist, we're always happy to see David Cologne, and as you can tell, he's always overjoyed to see us. Hello. This is Hi. Overjoyed Hello. <laughs> and I want to introduce you again to a Mr. Dan Ruth. Woo! He's always here. <laughs> Again, so was yes. that a threat or a promise? The oh, both. It's always there. both. Well, there'll always be someone here to take care of you whenever you need someone to, Woof. to imbibe with. You know. So 30-some you. years almost behind the bar? I think my first bar was 1984 in Richmond, Virginia at the Sheridan Hotel, Jefferson Sheridan Hotel. Ooh, yeah. uh, hotel bar. Yeah, hotel bar. Yeah, and they're all over the place. You know. so, so dive bars, piano bars, restaurants. Oh, so you met a few What was characters. your favorite bar? Yeah. Um, wow. That's a good. That's a good question. Uh, I think probably, um, probably the one I'm at right now because it's it's um, the one it, that's paying your bills right now. Well, it's, the, it it's actually it broke a lot of rules <laughs> in New York City. It actually it was on 80. It was on 48th Street and uh, it was Marie's Mont Blanc, and uh, Marie has been running it since the 80s. And it awesome. moved across the street, and, uh, and they just lost their lease. And it reopened on 52nd almost identically. The entire staff came back, the kitchen came back, mm. all the bartenders came back, and the, the whole neighborhood went, this, 
It must never be happens right. in New York awesome. City. Awesome. Yeah. What are you preparing for <clears throat> us right now? Well, okay, I actually took, I stole, actually. I went to Mont Blanc 52 and got some of the um, mandarin and ginger infused vodka, there which I'm about to add to yeah. this. Yeah. And then I'm going to add some of the Chirac um, mango vodka. And I just, I was trying to think of names of the drink. I'm going, okay, I, I, I didn't, couldn't really think of anything. The, what, I, what really kept coming to my mind was a Coney Island mango. Because back in the day, you know, we would take a bunch of bartenders from the Brooklyn Ale House that I used to work at in Williamsburg. We would go to Coney Island every Tuesday by car and just uh, hang out after a couple shots of rubies and then, you know, just hang out on the beach. And on the beach, they would have, you know, the guys walking by with the Coronas and right. those red hot mangoes with the hot sauce on them. And that's what we always used to just hang out and pretend we were Bish Shelley and Lord Byron and all that stuff. <laughs> so I would ask Dick and Dave for their favorite bar, but that might get you into trouble. So maybe we'll just start with what your favorite what thing doing? to do for this weekend is. Who's up first? Well, now that you ruined it for my whole bartender experience, I don't know how anyone going to top that. <laughs> They're listening. Jeez. <laughs> the uh, but <laughs> although it feels like um, a rainy day in London, it is actually coming up on Memorial Day weekend. And Memorial Day weekend is supposed to be sunny, but uh, Makosa is one of those sunny type parties. It's an outdoor party. It's an LA based party. It comes from LA. Um, it's a real good cook up though. They they and they cook out. Oh my God! They they cook the food. They make you dance. It's about three four DJs. Great audience. Um, and it's gonna be the Saturday at Our Wicked Lady over there on Morgan. 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 Oh, Morgan. Morgan. For oh. those. <laughs> People gotta know. Uh, like, Mar, he took us there. What, what you said? Morgan. 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 Less Gan. Morgan. I'm sorry. Always more. Okay. All right. Top uh, that. I, I, for some people, maybe this will uh, top that. I, not for me. I can't roller skate. I'm a terrible oh, roller exactly. skater. I'm yeah. never, yeah. never gonna really? uh, do me it too. again. Uh, but at uh, Brooklyn Bridge Park, if you like roller skating Goonies. on uh, Sunday, there's like a whole 80s skate jam thing. You can dress up like your favorite Goonie, you can dress up like uh, bad era Michael Jackson, you can dress up like Mario or Luigi, whichever one you want. Or you can just come the way that you usually dress, as long as it, you know, is a uh, uh, clothes that let you move a little bit because it's mm. it's roller skating after all. So yeah, you don't want to split your pants. Unitard. Uh, okay. Also, <laughs> got that romper, boys. Cool. Oh, got that romper. I get mad. I got the romper. Um, but this one, oh my God! So this is another freesome um, Memorial Day weekend party, and it's an outdoor party as well. Um, although I don't know, I'm not. I was like until like maybe two days ago, I was like, oh, like oh my God, it's Memorial Day weekend. And now it's like the worst. I don't yeah. know, Mother Nature. I don't know. It's She's like slapping my hand. Down in the down. Weather sucks. Yeah, this weather stinks, man. I mean, well, like, lift your mood just a little. That's uh, oh, one today. Today. That's yeah. why we. Yeah. Summary cocktail. What right. is this rim job? What's that is right, 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 right. Brown sugar, jalapeno, salt. What? Yeah. And wine. That's a party in my mouth. Oh wow, that's good. I haven't even tasted the drink. That's amazing. Right, and this is uh, this is what. Uh, Saturday. <laughs> Saturday. Saturday, yeah. Wow. It's a daytime party, so you can get drunk in the daytime. Or right now, if you're drinking. Oh, oh, no, of course, <laughs> now. Holy moly, okay. He is um, a bartender, it's real. Oh, here you can do something, you can exercise your brain a little bit. They got boxing gloves on there, but it's more of a word fight uh, than anything else. You got people from American Affairs, they're like, uh, I think that they're the magazine, they're trying to be like the intellectual side of Trumpism, if it's a thing like that. Exists. So you can go and punch the people who like No, Trump? no, they are uh, arguing with people from Dissent Magazine. Oh. Uh, a debate oh. Uh, at Verso Books. Versus, uh, versus. Uh, over, gotcha. over, what the, over what the future of populism is in America. Smarty party. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Okay. Um, Joy, uh, you know what? So uh, DJ Remarkable is um, literally remarkable. Mm. Um, Ruby, she kills it. Uh, she's having a, a, a day party. Um, at Bed Van Cocktail um, on Sunday. And um, although, like, you know, it's billed as a queer, LGBT, uh, other friendly, I mean, at some point in all, we all got a little otherness in us. So everybody should get over there. Or you can go and, and get and, somebody and, in there. Exactly. Yeah. And, and make yeah. yourself have a little joy. Yes, which you need. Mm -hmm. I'm here for the joy. We're inside two minutes of going away. I want to uh -oh. ask you, before we go to these guys for their last picks, how do we get ourselves in the venue 
for uh, Life Behind Bars? Um, it's at the Lori Beachman Theater, 407 uh, West 42nd Street in the West Bank Cafe. And mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be there on June 6th. Uh, it'll be Tuesday at 7 p.m. And we are coming back in the fall. Uh, so awesome. uh, this but started at Dixon Place and it went to the gutter in Brooklyn and oh, Dixon. Virginia. I love Dixon. And, yeah, I love Dixon. So yeah, it's yeah. been it's been making the rounds. Right. Right. Literalizing. Yes. Yeah. Congratulations. Right, 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 right. Uh, this right, right. is like probably the opposite of, of your very nice <laughs> one man show. This is just pure trash. It's a competitive What's erotic fan fiction. A cartoon uh, here. I don't think that I'm allowed to describe on air what's going on <laughs> no, in that cartoon. Uh, but uh, it, it's, it's wow. you know, somebody might have written a story where something like this happens. Uh, it's, uh, and they're all, it's a bunch of comedians. It's Burton Union Burton. Hall in the basement. Union Hall is back open after their fire. They're awesome. in the basement series. It's very, wow, excuse me, it's very, uh, very exciting. And so I go support them. Check them out. Down hang out in the basement. Listen to what are clearly uh, horrifying tales of uh, uh, sexual. Uh, something or other. Fan fiction. Wow. We're in our last moment. Make it good. Oh, so Coney Art Walls um, is that Deitch project situation out there where um, the cyclone used to be the biggest attraction in the parachute jump and the Wonder Wheel, but now um, because of gentrification, they're building like more stuff mm -hmm. that the Art Walls, the Art Walls is a, a big attraction. And Jelly Bean Benitez, who's classic New York house music DJ yes. with DJ Kamala, my girl Kamala, Woo. Tony Touch, and Ray Vasquez, so that's gonna wow. be um, this Sunday. Hopefully, the sun is out. Sun's out, Hopefully. guns out. So sun's out, guns out. Oh, 30 seconds Still before we hit the wall. Did we hit them all? Oh, uh, there was a. Uh, uh, did you hit a wall? Oh, right. Uh, uh, Dazed and Confused says a keg party, kind of, Whoa. at Videoology. Mm -hmm. um, Keg with the moon tower. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, you get a, a cup of beer, you can refill it. It's not. Totally super refill, but you get three refills, okay. uh, which nice. is still good. Go get your for, uh, 22 on bucks, and you get to watch this Richard Linklater movie. It's a whole really good time on uh, Friday, um, and you know, yeah, who okay. doesn't? Who doesn't I love the high school coming of age movie? Random makeout anyway. Right, yeah, exactly. is Someone, is someone's still like to make out. Totally equal. So thanks to the guys and Dan Ruth, go check out a lot behind bars at the Lori Beachman mm -hmm. on, right. the 6th and on the sixth and the sixth, June sixth.